All right, man. Um, Dan Campbell spoke on uh, not playing primetime games, but we'll we'll speak on that later. I'm gonna tell you guys why I don't I didn't like that uh, comment about that. Alliance made a comment. Uh, they forget who it was who made a comment about that years ago. It was some players saying that they pre- they prefer to play one o'clock than on prime time. So, um, Dan Campbell says that on Ben Johnson's off uh, Johnson's offense streamlined offense, he says that they're going to pick up the tempo. But uh, I let him I let him do the talking. You talked about the schematic adjustment up front with the defense. I know kind of downplayed that a little bit, but offensively, Ben Johnson's not joining midstream now. He's got a chance to, to put more of his fingerprints on here. So um, as you're installing what, what kind of Ben's designed with, you know, the collaborative, how, how are things maybe looking different? What's maybe a basic synopsis of how this offense might look different? Uh, I, well, I would say that he's doing a great job, by the way. He really is. I, I've been impressed um, with with what he's, what he's doing, what he's implementing, and uh, – inside of what we're trying to get done here. And so I would say this, we're going to be much more efficient just with how we get things in and out of the huddle. Um, the ability to change our tempo will be big, you know, and some of that just comes from verbiage alone, believe it or not. And uh, so I would just feel like everything's so much going to be so much more streamlined and uh, the ability to shoot, get on the line if we need to and one word, one call. And uh, whether that's with high tempo or not, could be just we're just back on the line no tempo but we're not huddling which that in itself puts stress on the defense you know and uh, and just getting our guys comfortable with that and so you know we're getting the rookies some of that stuff right now but that that's what we've been doing with the vets as well but he's done a great job everything is everybody's on the same page and so much of this as simple as it is it's just having the staff on the same page so uh you heard him. So he said they it sound like they want to simplify the offense and get the players thinking faster. They want to play with more tempo. And obviously they studied what they did wrong last year. And, you know, like I said before, they're probably going to do more huddle or more calls. He said they're, they're going to probably, uh, probably, you know, they simplify it. You know, and of course, what else he going to say about Ben Johnson? Even if he wasn't doing a great job, he going to say that. So, only time will tell, you know, if this works. But it sounds like they're kind of going more with college mode, you know, simplifying stuff, breaking stuff down. And is that because of Jared Goff? If that's because of the offensive line? Is that because of the receiving core? You know, I think it's more about Jared Goff, and I think they're going to get him playing with more tempo. But the thing about playing with more tempo, too, and playing a little bit faster, you know, if you don't, if you don't convert on third downs – you know what I'm saying? If you don't if you don't convert on third downs, then it's gonna, you know, then you're gonna wear your defense out again like they did last year. So in the sense of the matter, you know what I'm saying? That's something that you know that they gotta think about when they go tempo, they gotta be efficient at picking up third downs. They have to pick up third downs. I think the defense would be able to hold their end of the bargain. So, you know. We're going to see, and if Ben Johnson is the goods, he won't be hanging around Detroit much too much longer. I'll say that if Ben Johnson is really the goods, he won't be hanging around Detroit too much longer. I will say that he won't be hanging around Detroit too much longer. You know, uh, somebody going to scoop him up and give him a chance. They're giving young, they giving young head coaches, you know, a lot of chances. You know, it's no longer got to wait till you 40, 50 and get experience. They're getting in here. Not only are they getting the chances, they're becoming successful. So, um, but, but yeah, I mean, uh, it sounds good. Let's, let's see if it works. It's, it definitely sound it sounds like a game plan. So, them simplifying stuff, I like it. You know, one word plays and, you know, uh, one word plays, you know, and all of that. So, um, so it's like they're gonna play a little faster and simplify stuff. And they said they wanted to do that on defense last year, and I do think that they accomplished it. 
I do think they encompass it. They play faster than think as much, and that's why they was able to survive so many injuries and plug and play guys because, you know, Aaron Glenn made it simple where Matt Patricia made something that was supposed to be simple, more complex in the way he played. But nonetheless, uh, let's move on. He says, Dan Campbell on what well, has no problem with one o'clock starts. It's awesome. And that's the kind of thing I don't like. I, mean, I can't remember who it was years ago with some Lion players saying that uh, – they prefer to play on one o'clock in primetime games. And the part of the organiz that's part of the organization mentality. That's part of that's pro- part of the problem with their mentality. You want to be, you should want to be on prime time. You should want to be on Monday night football. You know, that's what legendary. If you don't make the playoffs, that's what legendary uh that's what legendary status started from. And this organization just continues to have a poor man's mentality. You know, and it started from top. Like, y'all should be like, you know what, man? We want to go out there and prove that we a primetime team. And due time, we will. It's not accepting that you're going to be out, be, be playing at 1 o'clock and you get off at 5, you ever go home and eat dinner with the family. You should going to be on Sunday night football. You should want to bring that type of electricity to Detroit, like when they had that Monday night game versus, you know, the Chicago Bears. I worked that game. That, that game was electric. You should want that. But this this organization just continues to have a loser man's mentality. That should irk y'all. That that should that should make y'all, you know what I'm saying? So I don't get it. He said it's awesome. Campbell excitedly said during rookie mini cap press conference, one o'clock games, awesome. One o'clock, you knock them out, you go home, you get ready for the next opponent. You're not waiting all day in the hotel all night. Then you on a short week, it feels like them. But for the most years, y'all, it don't matter if it's a short week or a long week. No matter if y'all got 10 days or two days to, uh, to, to prepare, y'all been getting their y'all ass kicked. So, you know, and I don't want to know why, you know, they not they don't get primetime games. It's that mentality, bro. They way better than 1 o'clock games. Y'all can have all the damn, you know, time to prepare. Y'all still get y'all ass kicked. That's my problem. And this team don't want to be primetime. You know what I'm saying? You know, but it is what it is. And he's speaking from strictly a coach's mentality, but from a profit, from a profitability, if that's the word mentality, they should want to be on there. You know, for the individual players that love the company, that want you want to come to Detroit, primetime games is, is, is how you get them to come to Detroit, part of that. That's why, you know, Glover Quinn, who was you know, should have been one of the best safeties in the league, hit damn near his entire tenure in Detroit, and he never got that, you know, he never got that recognition because they never won games and they never had primetime games. When they have playoff games, they shit the bed. So they should be pressing for primetime games. That should be a goal of theirs, but it is what it is. Maybe I'm tripping. Check out the Trey Lions Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase the change. Get notifications. We go live drop a video. Check out the Trey Lions Talk playlist. We're going to do this like this. Financial and support the channel. Cash out. Dollar sign. CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you have a business question, private response, or video quest, all my social media links in the description. Appreciate the love and support.